And as we dive into the aftermath of the New York Giants crushing 28-6 defeat to the Minnesota Vikings in Week 1, it's impossible to ignore the familiar feeling of disappointment that seems to haunt this franchise. For Giants fans, the hope that springs eternal each offseason was snuffed out far too quickly this year. Head coach Brian DeBall took the podium after the game, expressing his accountability and vowing to improve, but we've heard those words before. It's a tough pill to swallow when you watch the former star Saquon Barkley thrive with the Green Bay Packers, reminding us what we lost. The Giants' offense, which was supposed to show growth, was lackluster at best. Daniel Jones struggled mightily, and the boos from the home crowd were a stark reminder of the expectations that have seemingly crumbled overnight. The Giants didn't just lose, they were outclassed, and the statistics support that narrative. Scoring a mere six points and failing to find the end zone is unacceptable, especially when you consider the talent on this roster. The offensive line was porous, the defense looked confused, and the rhythm we hoped to see was non-existent. As we look ahead, the schedule doesn't get any easier. A divisional match against the Washington Commanders is looming, followed closely by a tough home game against the Dallas Cowboys. This is a pivotal moment for the Giants to regroup and show that they can rally from a disheartening start. The question on everyone's mind is whether Jones can bounce back or if it's time to consider other options at quarterback. The debate is heating up in the New York media and the pressure is mounting on Dayball to make the right calls. This team has a long history of struggling out of the gate with only one playoff win since their last Super Bowl in 2012. If they want to change that narrative, it starts now. As a fan, I urge you all to stay hopeful, but let's also be realistic about what we're seeing on the field. The clock is ticking, and if the Giants don't turn things around quickly, this season could spiral out of control. So what do you think, Giants fans? Is it time for a change at quarterback, or do you believe in Daniel Jones? Can the Giants turn this season around after such a disheartening opener? Let's hear your thoughts in the comments below. Your voices matter, and together, we can navigate through this turbulent time for our team. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates as the season unfolds. Let's go, Big Blue!